In this video, we're gonna talk about some good news for video game developers, especially indie developers. Godot 3.4 has arrived recently, bringing with it various performance optimizations and elevating the tool's level of maturity with several usability improvements. Also, 3D rendering performance has been a bottleneck for many users due to a lack of optimization for large environments. This release has more rendering improvements, like the ability to call objects that are not within the camera view. Godot 3.4 doesn't fix that completely. Instead, it introduces Portal Occlusion Calling, which is a partial solution for that problem. Plus, Godot 3.4 adds a new ACES Tone Mapper option to make the scenes look more realistic. Moreover, this release introduces a new ring emitter for 3D particles to which can emit particles on a ring or hollow cylinder with configurable radius and height. Additionally, shader language features have got remarkable improvements. For example, you can now drag and drop your shader code into your script editor. They also added other options to reduce the frame stutters for some video games, which is good news. This release also has a number of cryptographic features because now Godot can save and load public keys, sign and verify a hash with an RSA key, and encrypt and decrypt RSA keys. You can also now include your Godot web project support after being installed as progressive web apps for HTML5, and you can now call JavaScript methods directly from your Godot scripts. Concerning physics in this release, Kinematic Body has known many improvements in 2D and 3D including better handling of moving platforms, improvements of ray shape stability, and various improvements for floor stability in Godot physics, whether it be 2D or 3D. It is notable to mention that Godot 3.4 is compatible with Godot 3.3 projects, and I can say that it is moving up its way to becoming closer to other popular game engines such as Unreal and Unity, in terms of usability and ease of use, in addition to other tools it is providing to the community. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.